Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Weather. My name is Mr. G, your meteorologist, and we're going to be talking about our relatively quiet weather forecast. So uh, we do have a few areas that it's going to be uh, dealing with some thunderstorms as we head into your day Wednesday. We're going to take a closer look at that. But overall, we're not doing too bad out there across the country. But let's jump into our weather forecast and talk about a phenomenon that took place across parts of the upper Midwest uh, yesterday. We What we saw is what's called a pneumonia front, which is a cold front that drops the temperatures uh, quickly in a matter of minutes we saw the temperatures drop across the Illinois Chicago area by about 30 degrees in about a 20 minute time span and that is what's called a pneumonia front so we did see that and it resulted in some rather interesting thunderstorms across the upper Midwest as well as you can see this thunderstorm that erupted uh, due to that pneumonia front across the upper Midwest into Chicago and Indiana where we saw those severe thunderstorms and today. So that gorilla front is definitely something that we kind of see this time of the year. Sometimes across the Great Lakes areas, we can see that off of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. And then across the parts of the mid-Atlantic states and into the um, the the mountains here in the Shenandoah area. This is what's called Shenandoah. This is the Appalachian Mountain Range. We're looking at some severe thunderstorms taking place this evening. So we're going to be dealing with that. And we're going to have the potential there for some flooding, large hail, some tornadoes, and those damaging winds could hit speeds up to 60 miles an hour. And we're going to be looking at those showers and thunderstorms that we are seeing out there across the Appalachian Mountain Range, especially on the western side of the mountains. We're seeing those severe thunderstorms with heavy rain. And we're also seeing some isolated areas that we're going to be seeing flooding through parts of Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, and Kentucky, uh, and North Carolina as well, excuse me. So we will be dealing with that severe weather this evening. Here is a look at where we could see some tornadoes develop across the Shenandoah area and the Appalachian Mountain Range. We're here hear Knoxville, Asheville, Charlotte, Greensboro, Raleigh. Uh, Roanoke as well as through London and we're not going to it's going to be south of Louisville so you won't have to worry about that in Louisville and we're going to be seeing it through parts of southern West Virginia as well we have the potential for some weak to moderate sized tornadoes over across that area this evening we will also see the threat for damaging winds across Shenandoah as well, where we can see those winds hit 60 miles an hour. And we're going to definitely see that possibility increase here along the borders of several states, Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, and North Carolina. But we can see the potential for damaging winds from thunderstorms through parts of the south, the mid-Atlantic, and through the Appalachian mountain range as well. And here we are as we talk about that rounds of heavy rainfall into the middle of the week. This is where we're going to be seeing a lot of wet weather as we head into Wednesday and into Thursday. We're going to have an area of low pressure here through parts of the Ozarks that's going to be pro producing a lot of rainfall along the Gulf Coast and the Southeast and through parts of the Mid-South and the Southern Appalachians. We're going to be seeing that heavy rainfall with the threat for some flash flooding as well. And then across the northeast, where we are seeing rather dry weather, but what we're going to be seeing is the potential for frost and freeze warnings and watches in the morning hours as we head into your Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. We're going to see things kind of cold because it's rather dry across the northeast right now under and mostly clear skies. So with that dry weather and clear skies, that's going to allow for the temperatures to drop rather quickly in the overnight hour. So in the morning, we can see a little bit of frost and maybe some potential for some freeze areas as well. So a little bit of cold to contain with across parts of the Northeast for your Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. But as we take a look at your daytime, across the northeast as we move throughout the rest of the week we are going to be starting to see high pressure uh, establish itself across the northeast so we're going to see temperatures warm up as we head into thursday and friday so as we get toward the uh, weekend we're going to see warmer temperatures some light winds that will also help 
with the potential for any freezing because when things get still, it allows for the temperatures to grow to drop. But if it stays a little bit breezy, those temperatures mix, that air mixes. So we're gonna keep those temperatures up a little bit more. So we're gonna see a little bit less of a threat of any frost or freeze watches as we head toward the weekend. And we will have an elevated fire risk because it's gonna be quite dry across the Northeast as well because we're going to be dealing with a northwesterly airflow off of the air off the land mass so we're not going to get get much effect from uh the ocean unless you're immediately along the atlantic coast so if you're say boston or in long island that's where you might be a bit more comfortable but if you're a little bit further inland and of course the higher alt elevations there we're going to be seeing those temperatures warm up and it's going to be quite dry so that fire risk is going to be a bit elevated across the northeast here's a look at your weather forecast in the morning across the country here's your national forecast for your wednesday morning and as you can see it's going to be mostly dry across most of the country in the morning hours the exception is going to be down along the gulf coast and over towards uh, the Texas coastal coastline where we're going to be seeing some showers and thunderstorms across the south and maybe some showers and storm along the immediate east coast. But as you can see, dry in the northeast, nice weather across the Great Lakes, nice weather across the northern plains, the central plains, and the southern plains. Not much to talk about. Dry weather across the west coast and into the Pacific Northwest as well. We're seeing our summer heat down here across Arizona and into Southern California. But a beautiful start to the morning hours for your Wednesday for most of the folks in the nation, with the exception of some rain showers along the Gulf Coast. And we, in the afternoon, we're gonna see those showers and storms increase along the Gulf Coast and across the upper Midwest. So North Dakota, maybe far Northern Minnesota, we could see some thunderstorms creeping in across the Canadian border, but no severe weather is expected with those, but we can see some showers and storms from a cold front up to the North. So that'll be the other area where we're gonna see some precipitation in the afternoon and into the evening hours, we can see those thunderstorms along the uh, northern plains at the Canadian border and those showers and storms will continue along the cross the southeast and the Gulf Coast. So that is a look at your boring and quiet weather forecast across the country for your day on Wednesday evening. So a beautiful day across America, very warm temperature, so uh, pretty comfortable for the most part with the exception of that chilly weather on thursday morning across the northeast but other than that uh, we have that wet weather down across parts of the south but the rest of the country we're going to be doing a-okay so my name is mr g thank you for watching this weather forecast leave your likes comments and feel free to subscribe Bye bye